you know, that's what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to be an actress. Uh, for about 20 minutes, I wanted to be an actor. It did not work out, but uh, did you ever catch the bug when you were a kid? Uh, a lot of folks do. Sometimes it comes from the parents. Sometimes it comes from the child. Well, what, what does it take to succeed as a child actor? Put the book cover up if you would. We have a very interesting story in per Parenting in the Spotlight by Denise Simon. She is a renowned child acting expert. The subtitle, How to Raise a Child Star Without Screwing Them Up. I like I, that. And there are some <laughs> tips on how to become a child star to begin with. Uh, Denise, welcome to Good Day New York, and welcome also to future child stars. Actually, they're already making a big impression on people, Logan and Ellie. Nice to see you. By the way, when you said without screwing them up, they both started laughing. <laughs> so, Denise, I mean, is it possible to have your child work as an actor or actress without really messing them up? I think I wrote the book to dispel the myth and misconceptions that children in the enter entertainment industry get this bad rap. It's just not true. I think, you know, it goes back to good parenting. And if you've got parents that are wise and knowledgeable and um, let the kids drive the bus, um, I think that uh, the child actors I've known have grown up to be accomplished and successful. And you've worked with some of them, like I have. Scarlett Johansson. Right, so Scarlett, um, when she was eight, a picture appeared on my desk when I was managing talent, and she, you know, had something uh, that was appealing. Her eyes, her, her, her picture, I, I called her into the office. Her mother was organized and prepared. She had a really fascinating voice, and I thought, yeah, this kid's got something. Did I know she was going to be one of Hollywood's biggest stars? No, but I knew she had something, and... Hmm. That was and the she beginning. did. She did. Let me ask you this. I mean, we all have seen child stars make it really big as children, and then they run into big time problems as adults. Who comes to mind? Macaulay Culkin, um, Todd Bridges, um, Gary, Gary Coleman as well. I mean, how do you make sure that doesn't happen? It seems to happen a lot. Again, it goes back to parenting, right? So the book is a how you know, do I navigate this industry? But it's also really a parenting book, right? As if you're modeling and, you know, really keep the focus on your child and know how to stay out of the way, know how to pick a good team, know how to listen to your team. What if the kid becomes so famous and powerful and money comes pouring in that Let's like take you, Logan. I mean, let's he's working. He's a working actor. Okay. Well, let's pretend for a moment this could happen next summer. You're in the biggest movie, and everybody wants a piece of Logan. And how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. And he starts making millions of dollars, millions and millions of dollars. And you know, his parents who don't make as much money, and he starts calling the shots. Logan, you're not going to do this, right? No. But that does happen. You're right. It does happen. And so I think it's so important early on to sort of have this family conference. This. Uh, you know, talk about what's going to happen with with my money one day. And you know, we're lucky. There are wonderful you know laws in place, like the Coogan Law, where 15% of their earnings go into a trust that um, you know the parents cannot touch. And the Coogan Law. The Coogan Law. So Logan, let's let's talk to you. Uh, I, you're working. Tell us some of the things that you're in right now. Um, well, I am in a recurring for um, I play a recurring role in um, Blind Spot. Um, I've been in like five episodes and um, last year I was in um, an episode of Gotham. I played not a very substantial character but it, I was in a few scenes. And, okay. and I hear that you have a, a, a big part coming yes. up but you, we can't yeah, we talk can't about talk it. About okay. It. <laughs> so did you want to do this or did your pa parents encourage you? Um, neither of them actually happened. Um, I, in first grade, um, I had a friend whose parents owned a small production company near where I live, and um, they wanted me to do a, this video for a book jacket, um, for like a CD, and um, they said that I was really good afterwards, and if I wanted to start acting, um, I could, and they thought I would do really well, so I said yes, and then we just started. And the rest is history. Uh, I don't want to pry into your finances, but I hear that, you know, actors on Gotham get like tens of thousands of dollars an episode. Never mind. Ellie, <laughs> tell us a little bit about uh, your experience and your hopes for the future. Um, I, well, I'm a swing in school rock on Broadway right now. And, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I started when I was eight years old. I saw Matilda for my eighth birthday, 
and I really, really, really wanted to do it. And Matilda was like my dream show. And so I auditioned for Matilda when I was eight, and then I kind of just kept going because I really, really liked it. That's so cool. By the way, I, what time do you go to bed at night? Um, it depends. Cause I've wondered about kids because it's late. Um, She's not, you don't do it every day, right? The latest right? is one o'clock. 1 a.m. Yeah. But you, that's all You don't built. do it every day, right? Do you? Yeah, it's every day except it's Thursday. Every day. Every, wow. But it's built into the system here, Denise. Like what time, you, you sleep in, right? You sleep in? Um, We're on well, a different I go time to school. zone. Everything's different. <laughs> yeah, like I go to school normally because yeah. I live in the city and so my school's right by here, by my apartment building. So I wake up for school every morning and go to Oh my gosh, that's pretty <laughs> wild. You get you go to bed at one in the morning, and then you go to school at what seven forty-five or something? Um, I wake up at seven thirty. Wow. So Denise, how do you know as a parent whether you encourage your child to do something like this? You know, it's it's when you see that your child has this passion. They're singing in their stroller. They're acting out skits. They're demonstrating the passion. Then you're hearing from maybe friends, relatives, teachers that your child has something. It's probably time to start to take a look and maybe go visit a professional or someone that can assess that. All right. Well, listen, Logan and Ellie, uh, we've got a little bit of, uh, we got a scene here, and we're looking for two kid actors, and you guys just might fit the bill. We're looking for two people to play Rosemary and Gabe. You see that green wall over there? Yeah. Yep. All right. This is your first direction. Uh, I need you to walk over there okay. and perform the scene. Just go ahead over there. Yeah, All so the way over there. Yeah, so they're going to do an audition, and Denise, and While afterwards... they're going over there, yeah. I mean, is that enough sleep? Well, um... I don't want to cause anybody any <laughs> yeah. problems, but anyway, yeah. she's a remarkable young lady. Minutes, hey, right. okay, there they are in right, our so little Denise, space. They're going to do this scene from Little Manhattan, right. and then you're going to basically tell us what like an audition needs to look like and whether they nailed it or not. Exactly. Uh, okay, right. take it away. The audition starts now. Girls mature faster than boys. <laughs> is that a fact? Actually, I think it is. That's completely made up. Boys are so much more mature than girls. This isn't a matter of opinion, Gabe. There were studies. Girls speak first. They walk first. I see it in my little sister's class. The boys her age all seem so stupid. You are such a loser. Truth hurts, my friend. There's absolutely no reason I shouldn't be able to get my yellow belt within a week. You don't take it seriously. Take it seriously? You're not focused. You think you're this natural. You don't practice. I practice. That's very nice. Thanks for coming, both of you. <laughs> Step right over there. There are some lollipops. <laughs> I think we're going to nail this part. Oh, Denise, sure. come here for a second, okay. all right? So, Denise, real quick, uh, any acting tips? For you? Yeah. All right. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> all right. Are you all ready? Right. Yes. Go ahead, Ruth. Girls mature so much faster than boys. Is that a fact? <laughs> Actually, I think it is. That is completely made up. Boys are so much more mature than girls. <laughs> this isn't a matter of opinion, Gabe. There were studies. Girls speak first. They walk first. I see it in my little sister's class. The boys her age are all so stupid. You are such a loser. <laughs> That's not on the script. Oh, it is. Truth. I think I got the pause. <laughs> There's some lollipops for you as well. What do you think, Denise? Come, Come on, on over here. here. Come Denise, on here, what, the, what? I hate to break it to you guys. Yeah. That was fantastic, right? <laughs> when do I start? <laughs> the first rule in acting yes. is don't act. Um. All right. What kind of acting coach are you? <laughs> uh, just kidding. I know I overdid it a little bit. And Rosanna, uh, she actually majored in theater. Yes, I did. We know that you guys are the pros. Denise Simon, thank you so much. Thank Check you. out her new book. Uh, and thank you to little people here. Continued success.